Welcome back to Everything Whiskey, I'm Caleb. I'm Sam. And today we're having a look at the Talisker's Distillers Edition. Alright, so today we're doing, as Kelly said, Talisker Distillers Edition. You have had a tiny bit and said it was amazing. I'm yet it. to try it. I've smelt it. Um, it does smell good, but I'm yet to try it. So it'll be first impressions for me. Like second impressions for you. Uh, 10 years old is the distiller's edition, just like the regular 10. Uh, they're all 45.8 ABV. Mm -hmm. um, all of Talisker's releases are 45.8 ABV, unless they're like a super high ABV. The 57 ones. North. The 57 ABV. North or a cask strength or stuff like that. Yep. Um, now, this one's been aged, uh, finished in. Um, Double matured, sorry, in um, Omoroso casks. Um, so Omoroso is like somewhere on the kind of time, not timeline, but spectrum of sherries. It's, yep. you know, kind of in between a. Actually, I don't know where it lies. I think it's more towards the Oloroso side. It's it's not as sweet. It's not like. It's not. It's been a bit more fermented than mm -hmm. um, the Oloroso sherry, but so it's. But it, so it's got some more spice, but it's. Um, Still got still, that sherry, still yeah. got quite a bit of um, sweetness to it. Um, it's funny because you, you don't see uh, old, what's it called? Um, um, Amoroso. I've never seen. You don't see that cask anyway. Yeah. Um, now, Talisker Stills Edition is a vintage, so they um, release a different one every year. I've seen quite a few of the 2019s and stuff, mm. and 2018s, and we've got uh, the bottled. Sorry, distilled in 2007 and bottled in 2017. So maybe you got a batch that's maybe some had they've been selling it lately, and we got an older one. Know, it's yeah. Interesting. It smells kind of closer. I think you mentioned it, kind of like a um, Lagavulin 16. It's better sweeter. Like sweet. That, obviously, that sweeter. sherry uh, finish definitely sweet. shows up a lot. Yeah, I get the brine, um, but. For a, well, it's not really Isla, is it? It's from the Isle of Skye, which is sort of like it's an island. Yeah, so they're on like the, the the sea, kind of like on a lock or whatever they call it over there. So they're going to have a lot of the salty, briny impacts. Um, yeah, either way, they've all got the same kind of characteristics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, this hasn't got much, like, it's not heavily peated, like an Ardbeg or anything like that, but. Mm. They don't list the PPM from what I could find. So it's a lot really by the smell of it. Don't really lie. know how high, but also neither does like a lot, most Ardbeg or Fluff Oregon stuff. Yeah. PPM doesn't really help that much. Not for me, anyway. It's got some really ni nice dark fruits in it as well. It's a lot of like complexity plums. on here. Like it doesn't just smell like, you know, Isla Isla, or yeah. Ireland whiskey. It's not just brine. It's, it's, that's why it's kind of a bit more similar to a Lagavulin because Lagavulin has like, those notes, but also has a lot more deeper, fruity, notes, fruity yeah. kind of sweeter notes. It's a nice colour as well, pretty dark. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if there's any uh, colouring added. There might be, I would be surprised though. Talisker seems pretty decent, but um, I don't know. Actually, it's, just the, it's Yeah, it was probably just the combination of the right. age and the casks it was aged it's 10 years, isn't it? Yeah, because no. uh, all like sherry casks, like, you'll have a look at the Glendronic 12 and stuff, that's always dark and yeah. dark as. It's like classic Talisker, but with like a sherry twist on it, and a lot more earthy notes as well. But it's I find way more briny, no, way more salty. Yeah, sea, sea, salty. sea salt. It's like nut. It's like a almondy as well. It's like some kind of maybe not an almond. It's like a nut, a salted nut. There's a waxing nuttiness yeah. to it. This is like far more salty than I was expecting. It's really good. That's, like it's quite peaty, but it's more the saltiness that's got yeah. me, and I love it. I reckon that's amazing. The fruits don't show up that much uh, on the palate, on the nose. They're there yeah. initially, but I think the finish it they turns dry yeah. and you get more of the salty peat on the finish. When you return back to the nose though, the fruits jump out even more than what they did. A bit more like typical maltiness that you get with um, kind of space hides and highlands mm. than you do with um, Islas. It's got a little bit more of that maltiness, but it's so different because of the weird like brian salt and stuff and peat yeah the sherry isn't like glendronic or anything the no, sherry no, no, no. doesn't show up as much nearly as much as one of those yeah. um i think it just it's well blended in it's just like a, it's a it's just like another layer of flavor it's not like the dominating kind of in yeah, no. encapsulating yeah. flavor that everything else sits inside which is kind of like how glendronic is it's like a very it's like 
prominent note is sherry. Mm. And then it's like with some whiskey notes. Whereas this is like, it's whiskey with some like sh sherry notes underlay. It's quite sweet as well on the palate. But then, still, it, then, still it, then it dries off for me. Like it goes kind of dry on the, on the finish. It tastes a higher it, proof. And 45. It tastes higher. Yeah. I reckon it seems a bit, probably because of the saltiness and the peat and stuff. Yeah. It's stronger. Yeah, it's got um, more bite than... But it's got more bite than I normally give a 45er. 46, whatever it is. I wish we had the normal Talisker to compare it to, but we've finished off that bottle and... I wonder what, what we want to try, we've been looking for for ages, the 57 North. We've had one. the 57 North, we tried yeah. it at a whiskey bar, and that's delicious, but yeah. you can't find it anywhere. It's really hard can't to find. You can't even buy it online, it's always yeah. sold out. But this, it's I actually really, really like this. Funkiness yeah. on the nose now, like the multi funk is kind of coming it's out coming now out. I'm acclimating to the salt, um, the salt brine, yeah. brine, yeah. It had some water in it. So for the comments that are wondering, um, or the people I should say, everyone seems to comment what kind of water we use. This is just bottled water. We put it in this. Um, yeah, we just dry bottled distilled water, just because it's the thing that we found, and that Will's research seems to have the least impact on flavour. Because tap, like, water tap water's too much minerality and like um, minerality. <laughs> yeah, um, it's got a lot of phosphates and calcium, calcium in it. It's like brown sugar. Oh, it did. It got sweeter. Yeah. It got more caramelised. Maybe it's, I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I'm actually, that nose I actually yeah. prefer. It's a lot sweeter, brown sugar, yeah, it's caramelized. caramelized sugar. And the fruits are still there. The peat and brine's kind of dropped down to the back. It's kind of the same one that tastes as well. Yeah, it's like a little bit sweet up front, but the um, finish is still exactly the same. Mm. Yeah, there's brown sugar. So yeah, it's good whiskey on the palate now with the water. All right, so I got this online at Nick's Wine for $140. Um, so it's up there in terms of price, but I reckon it's well worth what you pay. Yeah, and it's also not like, like that's, that's a pretty good price for that kind of thing over here yeah, in it's Australia. Not expensive. It's not That's not like, yeah. You get stuff like this is very much in that $140, $150 zone. Um, Nick's seems to be the best price you can get. Australia wide, um, well really Victoria wide, I don't even know what it looks like in other states. Yeah. Um, I know in like Scotland and stuff, or I don't know about Scotland, but I, not here. It costs, you know, like um, 60 bucks or something. Um, America, I'm not really sure what you guys pay, probably similar. Mm. But yeah, I, I reckon it's worth it. I don't know, I wouldn't buy this bottle frequently, I wouldn't rebuy it, but I definitely would rebuy it at some point. It wouldn't be like a daily drinker at 140 because I wouldn't want to be spending that regularly. But that's just because I don't want to spend 140 regularly, not because like it's not worth 140. I mean, I'm just you gonna know? put it like I normally leave all my whiskies in the collection. Mm. I'm taking this one home with me. Yeah, because yeah, I like it that much. So take that as you would. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you haven't had a chance to try it, definitely try it. If you have a chance to buy it at a price you're happy with, then I reckon it's definitely worth. Uh, doing so, water would be an interesting addition, might help you open it up. I might even add more drops into it. I should see, yeah. you know, but um, I mean, I like it with water, it brings yeah. out the sweetness, which is yeah. yeah. But apart from that, um, yeah, it was a good addition, it was a good pickup. I was kind of surprised because, like, what, like, we haven't been blown away by Telescope in the past, like, their regular it's nice, time but... has been fine, but it's never been like super interesting. Um, but this one was a happy surprise. It's it's really quite good. I like the um, complexity that the sherry adds to a briny yeah. island whiskey. Um, but you know what I want to try? Lafroy PX. Yes. That's that would one be... island I would really like to try. I thought you had tried it. No, well, you didn't get to try PX. You got to try a different one yeah. that sherry finished. Mm. Well, I don't know what it was though. But yeah, I want to buy the... PX Lafroy, because yeah. we both love Lafroy, Pedro, mm -hmm. and, and seeing how sherry affected this, I reckon. Yeah, and he got some more sherry as well in that yeah. one. Um, so that's the old Lafroy, isn't it? Pedro Menes. That's what I meant. I don't even know if it's the same. I don't know. We're not sherry people. <laughs> the only sherry information we know <laughs> is like through finishing of whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this episode of Everything Whiskey. If you enjoyed it, leave us a like. If you want to see future episodes from us, maybe consider hitting that subscribe button. If you do, we'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers.